dedicated to the great outdoors. It's Southern Woods and Waters with Hugh McNaughton. Southern Woods and Waters is brought to you by Gander Mountain, Greenform Construction, The Burns Insurance Group, Cunningham Buick GMC, Nashville Marine, America's Motorsports, and now here's Hugh. Alright, welcome everyone to this Thursday night's edition of Southern Woods and Waters, and I'm going to tell you something, i got a great show for you. Well, I had a great, a great show, and then they called and canceled on me, and then I called my buddy David McMurray with National Marine, I said, you got to bail me, buddy, I'm in a pickle, and he got me an even greater show, so I, something that we harp on here on this show every time we come around, and that's how families to get involved in the outdoors. Let's broaden out, and I'm going to introduce you to a great, great family, the Pettit family, Mike Pettit. How you doing, brother? I'm doing well, man. Thank you. And, and, and I got to say, now you're going to be here the entire time, but we got mm -hmm. other family members that's going to switch on and off right. with mama and, bro and brother over here. Mm -hmm. So we've got Miss <laughs> Trina Pettit. How you doing, Miss Trina? I'm good. Thank you. And Austin Pettit. Yep. And then he's your oldest son. Yes. And there's two others waiting in the wing over here. Right. That's right. Now, y'all are a fishing family. That's right. That's right. And, and I want to say, uh, we're going to show some pictures here in a few minutes uh, in one of the other segments that y'all really do fish together, you mm -hmm. hunt together. Now, Trina, you were telling me y'all deer hunt together, right. all of you deer hunt. We so, all do. Mm -hmm. uh, and you got a place in Kentucky that y'all go, that you lease. Uh, uh, I do the same thing. We've got, we own a place in Kentucky and we go right. hunting up there. I love it. I still like Tennessee. But... What does it mean for you, Mike, as head of household? What does it mean that to have your whole family that gets to do things together? Well, man, I, it's it's just an absolute blessing to be able, you know, to spend time with the ones that uh, that you love the most. Uh, you know, it's kind of crazy how it all come about. You know, all of us fishing together. But just a quick story. Uh, I guess it was about 10 years ago, Trina used to always be on to me like, why do you have to spend so much money on this rod? And that? Why do you have to spend so much money on a boat? Why do you have to go 70 mile an hour? This, that, and yeah, other. Yeah. So, uh, I get the same thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, long story short, just uh, one night I said, you know, why don't you just join me one time in one of the tournaments? And if you like it, that's great. If not, you know, you gave it a shot. Well, long story short, we fished that tournament. She cashed a check and the rest is history. Now the boat don't leave without her. So that's the way it's worked out. That's all it takes, uh, yep. pay, pay her to fish and she's there from, yep. from there on. Mm -hmm. All right, and, and then your oldest son come along. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> excuse me, how, how old was he when, he when Austin first started? Well, actually, Austin is, uh, you know, I think he killed his first deer when he was like six years old. But, you know, he's been, since he was four or five years old, bouncing around from one pond to the next and uh you know whenever i bought my first boat he was the first one that wanted to jump in there so <laughs> you know he's always been right there whatever yeah. the outdoors had for us he was always right there just you know excited so, just to jump in the boat with dad so we're going to get the two youngest one on right. here in a little bit but mm -hmm. and, and we got some questions for them but i gotta ask i, I know how you feel now that mm -hmm. you're just proud as a peacock to That's have right. them all there mm -hmm. now trina what about you Oh, I enjoy it. I love it. I think soon we're going to have to end up getting another boat. <laughs> so you see, you see two Phoenix I boats do. in your future. That's I right. do. That's right. We fight over who's going to fish with that all the time. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, yeah there's, there's been times that uh, there's been all of us in the boat. All five of us chunking Alabama rigs and dirt bags. Oh, my goodness. And uh, <laughs> somehow or another, we still have all of our eyes and, you know, skin attack. Yeah. But, we, we, you know, we manage to make it happen. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got a tickle in my throat, but uh, so, now, but now Trina, it's got to be just a little bit hard on Mama. I mean, because does Mama have to pack all the sandwiches and the crackers and the coffee and all oh, that yeah. stuff too? Mom takes care of all that, but Dad. But now care Dad's of putting the fishing line and getting the lures ready. He does right? take care of me. Okay. When it comes to all of that, yeah. He does good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, both of them were scared to death that they were going to rat on each other. <laughs> it's working out fast. Yeah, absolutely. Now, now, Austin, what was your job? I mean, does does Dad delegate? Now, son, I need you to do this. Well, usually he's the one netting the fish for me. So. <laughs> oh, okay. I got you. 
<laughs> it's kind of hard. Let's just go. Yeah. I mean, I like to take over, you know, control the trolling motor and get on top, but I mean, I, he, he usually puts me on the fish and I catch him. I mean, that's right. He, he knows he nets the uh, yeah. fish for training all the time. <laughs> I mean, I've gotten pretty good, right? Yeah. yeah. That's right. Pretty good neck man, I understand. Trevor said you're a pretty good neck man, too. That's right. Absolutely. And it's gotten to a point now we go to the weigh ins, I'm not even allowed to carry the bag anymore. She just tries right on up there. So. That's not true. We just let her have it all. Let her go. Right. Let her go. Somebody's got to get up here on the bandstand. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. <laughs> now, now, this year, all right, it's starting out now. Now, Trina, are you like a fair weather girl fisher person? Or are no. you, you going to get out there on Gunnersville like we did? It's seven degree weather, mm -hmm. snowing. We fished, what was it, weekend before last? It was 27 when we took off. It was the hangover tournament. They yeah. had on cruise. Oh, I think Larry it, Holland yeah. put Larry that Holland together. Larry Holland put it on. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, they think we started out, it was like 24 How degrees. How was Larry that day? Because <laughs> well, he called it hangover. I was wondering. Right. Well, you know Larry, he's <laughs> he's the Percy Priest bully is what I call him. As a matter of fact, you know, he, he won it. He's a great angler just a great he guy is. as well and um, but uh, we had taken uh, I think we took third right cash a check and what was funny is uh, our pastor and another guy that goes to church was they just entered in and these two guys couldn't catch a fish if we jumped in the boat with them <laughs> well they're just they, making sure yeah, you're exactly. tied. And, you know uh, tied this yeah. Sunday <laughs> and, uh, we know what you got <laughs> yeah, that's right and uh, they ended up taking fourth and cashing the check really yeah. so you know I was, I was extremely proud of those two guys but the Lord uh, was on their side <laughs> that's right I, yeah, yeah there's a, a lot of favor that goes that's there. right that's right that's awesome though that you get all the folks involved now um Austin, were you a little older than to have the bass fishing in the high school? They didn't have it. No, they didn't have it when I was in high school. No. It actually started, I believe, last year. My brother got it together and got it going. Now, you're going to MTSU, right? Yes, Is that sir. correct? Now, MTSU has one. I uh, believe they do. I haven't really have looked you, into it, no. You've never looked into it? Mm -hmm. You're too busy. You were fishing yeah. with mom and dad. <laughs> yeah, I'm more of the, I like to go out and pre fish. I just like to do it for fun. I mean, I'll fish a couple tournaments here and there, but... I just like being out there on the lake. Yeah, that's yeah. that's the fun part. Now, do your friends, do you, your friends that you hang with and all that? Oh, the we all, fish? we're all, you know, I mean, we all go with dad pre-fishing and we, I have one friend, we have to blindfold him every time we go out because yeah. he's always at the same hole. We showed him one yeah. hole and he's there every time he he's goes there. to the lake. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's that yeah, type of friend. Right. So. Yeah, you're going to have to cut his prop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <for real. laughs> yeah. It's something like that. I, I've got friends like that too, brother. Yeah. I'm, I'm telling you, well, it's great to see, and we harp on this all the time mm -hmm. on the show, is how to get families involved, uh, how to, uh, don't be afraid. A ask your wife, A ask your mom. Ask your son, ask your daughter, let's go do something. Let's go fishing or trap shooting. I mean, there's all kinds of things that you, people can do as a family mm -hmm. to get outside right. and enjoy it. And uh, I just, I, I'm so honored to have the Pettit family here. And thank you, David McMurray from Nashville Marine for saving me with such a great group. Uh, but uh, we're going to take our first break. We've got to take our first break, go to commercials, and uh, make a little money. <laughs> we got we to pay for this thing. So uh, let's go to our commercials, and we'll be right back with more of Southern Woods and Waters.